Morning internet, it's very windy here. <laughs> We're in North Canterbury near Gore Bay and behind me are the Cathedral Cliffs. Cathedral cliffs are a sandstone formation that's just caused by weathering. Really quite amazing. It's very hard to get to a point where you can get a good view of the cliffs now because the trees have grown over and they've kind of sensibly put fences in to stop you getting too close to the cliff edge. I would absolutely never climb over the fence and do anything irresponsible like that. <laughs> it's a lovely view though up the coast. Not sure if it's going to come out on video but there's some birds nesting in the holes in the cliffside over there. Keep flying in and out. So we discovered that if you walk like about 50 metres down the road from the lookout, there's a much better lookout place where you actually get a really good view without having to climb over any fences. Did I mention it was windy? From this view you can definitely see why they called it Cathedral Cliffs. It's Kind of reminds me a bit of the um, uh, Sagrada Familia. Mm. I agree there. Yeah. Back up there, you can see where the limestone cliffs are that we were. And further along the beach, you can see definite limestone cliffs coming down into the sea. I'm surprised they haven't blown away. We've walked about a kilometre down a very stony beach. It was nice and sandy when we started off, but it's got stonier as we've gone along, which in the tides in, so we couldn't walk on the sandy bit. So it's kind of hard to walk on the stones. So if you're going to do this, do it at low tide. <laughs> but there's a pretty obvious reason why when I'm with Little and Witch, we've walked for a kilometre down a beach, other than just beaches are cool. There's a historical cemetery down here. My microphone must have failed again because I got no audio from this bit. But I think what I was saying is that there's not many actual headstones in the cemetery because some of them were wooden and have just disintegrated over the years. Some of the graves were never marked in the first place. But it was worth the walk for the views. The cemetery overlooks a lovely little valley and back down to the bay. And it turned out there was an ulterior motive for Littleton Witch wanting to visit the cemetery because there's also a geocache here. Well the wind's coming up even more and there's a gale warning for this afternoon so probably time to head back home. We've had a really lovely morning in Gore Bay and walking on the beach getting a bit of this unseasonally warm October weather. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Ka kite internet!